It's time to cook with Susan Beck. Today I'm going to make a shrimp pasta with creamy mozzarella sauce. And here are all my basil noodles cut into strips of fettuccine. My water is boiling and I am ready to put in my basil noodles. Now last week I put a post out showing you how to make these fun green noodles with fresh basil. They're a bright green color with some flecks of dark green basil still in them. So I'm just going to make sure they're pulled apart a little bit as I put them into my heavily salted water. Anytime you're making pasta, be sure you salt your water completely. And then I'm going to serve this tonight along with some garlic bread. So once my pasta is into the water and um, up to a boil, it's only going to take um, with homemade pasta, no more than five minutes, but taste it when it's tender, it is ready. Now, if you're not wanting to take the time to make homemade pasta, that's okay. You can still make this creamy mozzarella sauce and shrimp pasta with any fettuccine, or for that matter, you could even use spaghetti noodles or whatever kind of pasta you'd like to pick up from the store. So into my pot is going half of my basil noodle recipe. The other half I have instructions on that video on how to freeze them and save them for another day. So putting the lid onto this until it gets to a boil then I'll remove the lid and let it cook again for five minutes. We'll be moving on to the saucepan. Let's see what we need for our creamy mozzarella sauce. For today's mozzarella pasta sauce, we will be using two small tomatoes, several sprigs of thyme, and leaves of basil from my herb garden, half a cup of whipping cream, half a cup of milk. In addition to that, we will be saving some of our pasta water for liquid. We will be using one cup of mozzarella. For some seasonings, we will have a half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper, an eighth of a teaspoon of paprika, and three garlic cloves. We will also add two tablespoons of olive oil. My protein for today will be shrimp. These shrimp came in a package. They were already pre-cooked and frozen. I like to defrost them by just putting them in some cold water and letting them sit for an hour and then the ice will melt away and the shrimp will separate and they're ready for me to remove Another the tails. preparation tip. Those tomatoes need to lose some of their juice, so I have chopped them up and placed them on a paper towel so that they are not quite so liquidy when we First use. thing we'll be cooking is our garlic and some olive oil. I chopped my three garlic cloves that were quite large into some smaller pieces and I'm just going to simply pound them until they become a little bit on the mushy side and broken up using my mortar and pestle. You can see that's broken up quite nicely and ready to be sauteed in the olive oil. I'm going to begin by putting two tablespoons of olive oil into my pan and put that on like medium high heat. And into there I will be adding my garlic that I beat down to little pieces in my mortar and pestle. You want to get that garlic softened up and we're also going to add into there the tomatoes that we had drying. Got rid of a lot of that moisture on this paper towel. All right, let's give that a little stir. I've got my whisk here that I'll be using today for this. technical error so let's back up a little bit into my pan I have placed all of my spices with my shrimp and I am just heating those through now my basil I simply took the basil leaves and rolled them and then took a knife and cut them into little ribbons that could go into my uh, sauce my thyme on the other hand comes in these stems. I need to take my fingers and run them down the stems to remove the little tiny leaves, trying to get less of the stem 
and more of just this. So this is just heating through, and once it's heated, it is going to be ready for the liquid. I have drained my noodles. They were finished, so here are my noodles. I'll put them in my big pasta. I'm going to now turn my burner down to low, and into my delicious looking shrimp and spices is going to go a half a cup of milk and a half a cup of cream, heavy cream or whipping cream. That's how we get the name creamy mozzarella sauce along with one cup of mozzarella. And then I want to slowly whisk this together and let everything melt and heat. Oh, I almost forgot one last ingredient. When I drained my pasta, I kept a half a cup of pasta water to lighten this a little bit with all those heavy creams and melts. Oh, the sauce is perfect. It's come to just a little bit of a bubble and my cheese is pretty well melted in there. As I can see when I hold this up, it kind of drips off the shrimp's getting caught in my whisk, but otherwise, we are good. We're ready to pour this over the noodles. I'm ready to serve up some of this shrimp pasta with this creamy mozzarella sauce. Oh, look at that. That just looks awesome. Now I'm using those basil noodles that I made that are homemade, but you can use any that you would like. and. This will turn out just fine, serving it with some garlic bread as well. Mm. I really like the lightness of the sauce, so despite the heavy cream and the mozzarella cheese, you've got the milk and the pasta water to kind of lighten up the sauce. And there's just that hint of pepper from the red pepper flakes and the paprika. And I can definitely tell that I salted my noodles. Oh, this is truly one of my favorite dishes. And if you'd like to make it vegetarian, you could easily leave out the shrimp. Or if you like chicken instead, you could put in some chicken that you saute with your garlic. Enjoy.